What's going on, fellow degenerates at YouTube? Twin B, one half of the DJ and twins here, carrying the fire through this marathon called life. Coming up, I've got a bluff I ran on New Year's morning at the 1 to 300 No Limit game at my home casino here in beautiful Inglewood, California, Hollywood Park. And stay tuned for a brief recap of my poker results during the pandemic. Small sample, but a sample. Also, Twin A will be joining me in a future video or live stream, I promise. But speaking of live streams, I'm a big fan of Max Payne Monday and Hustle Casino Live. I love to be on the show. I have a potential spot. So if you are a fan of Hustle Casino Live, like this video, sub to the channel with the martyr mark in the corner, please. That would go a long way to helping us get on the stream. Whether we make that stream or not, I will be at Hustler for the meetup game on February 26th. Free plug, Hustler. You're welcome. Sign up on Poker Atlas if you got the app. You got to download that. If you do sub to our channel, just a heads up, this will not be your normal poker YouTube channel. This may be a semi-normal intro poker vlog, but don't expect me to or my bro to follow some mode. We're equal opportunity degenerates. Holistic degens, if you will. My twin brother is more of a sports better. I'm the typical poker player that likes to lose his poker winnings elsewhere, but he's going to help me with that on this channel. So follow along if you want to follow that journey. I know my face is invisible, but some quick receipts. Here's my poop bar post on 2 plus 2 about 15 years ago, and my appearance on Live at the Bike even before then, I think, playing some boring ass Limit 816. Real niggas don't play Limit unless it's OE. Omaha 8 or better is what I'm talking about, not Old English. If your mind went to Old English 40s, do better, my nigga. I love you, but do better. But enough about me. We rack up our chips from this ace queen hand. It's the first hand that, uh, one in the new year, so I included it. It's a pretty standard hand, but let's get to this bluff. I know that's what y'all really want to see, right? So the video starts after the flop, but uh, pre flop, we're about 400 effective or so. Uh, there was a straddle on, and then I ended up raising late position with king queen off suit. Sometimes I, you know, usually I just, I just raise, I, I raise a lot, so um, and he called early position, and then the flop came out ace high. Obviously, I didn't like that flop. Um, Although I didn't really care, but um, he, the player, the reason I had on him, and then as I'm reaching for chips here, um, this is actually on a turn, I believe, but um, me calling his turn bet, so, which is kind of giving away a spoiler, I guess, but I know um, on his, given his, uh, what I had observed, and this is a thing with live poker, you know, you try to get reads on people, but you're getting them in a vacuum, like, you have only got, like, you know what, like maybe you're sitting with a person for like an hour, or, you know, two, maybe maybe longer, but that's really not how they play, you know, that's not their overall strategy, so, so there's only so much you could take from that, right? Anyway, so I, I know he doesn't raise, uh, or he, he raises all of his aces from early position, so, uh, at least from what I've seen, so I know he doesn't have an ace, so I, I checked back on the flop, because I'm like, I don't have any, like if he... You know, if he has something, I don't know, it's probably going to sound like double talk, but I'm like, if he has something, and I bet, like, he's not going to fold, I mean, you know, so, uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like it was really worth it, like, he seemed like the player I would just call, and uh, the turn came, and he let out to me, so, when he let out to 65, it was about a pot size bet, and I'm like, oh, okay, um, I remember these spots from when I was just learning poker, uh, I would just lead out on turns, you know, for whatever reason, and, um, I, I believe there, I made, made the call there, um, but yeah, he, he let out on the turn, and I was, you know, with, with, when the ace came, and I'm like, if he doesn't have an ace, then I have all the aces in my range, right, there's no way that he could, you know, um, you know, uh, I feel like I'm ahead, if he has a piece, then, you know, I could probably still win a hand. So I'm really happy when he let out. I'm like, all right, let's call it see the river. There's a lot of turns I could, or rivers I could bluff. You know, there's a lot of stuff I could do on the river. So interesting here is, you know, as I check my cards, and I, I you know, he, he raised, or he, he didn't raise. He he uh, he bet out uh, 130. So now the pot is like, you know, about 300. So I started thinking, you know, and I'm actually kind of happy with the way this, this run out kind of came. Uh, with it, there's a lot of like, first of all, the the flush miss. So there was that club, the club flush draw was there, 
and the, and that's a, that's also one thing that a lot of people, especially in live poker. I don't know. I haven't played online in years, but live poker. A lot of people on a turn if they have like a flush draw or like a straight draw, then they'll just they'll lead out on the turn to kind of try to set their price. So I'm like, if his if this uh if the river if he misses the river for clubs, then I can bluff at that. Um, if he has like a small piece, then you know I could bluff at that too. Um, so I, I kind of sitting here thinking, I'm like, what should I do? What should I do? Um, and then I ended up just just ripping it in. I did I did have audio for this, um, but out of respect for the people that were, you know, they didn't know I was filming, so, um, you know, but but the guy next to me, um, I ended up ripping it in, and he's like, yeah. The guy next to me is like, yeah, I think you bluff with the best hand. I think you bluff bluff with the best hand, and I'm not sure, but uh, so after some deliberation, I'm end up going all in here. But uh, yeah, I end up taking it down. Let's ship the pot. There's the board, and flip over my hand, and then I was like, oh, I'm just showing off now. You know, I gotta. You know, I shouldn't be doing that. So, but you, you got to give action to get action. You got to show bluff. So, so one of the guys that on the other side of the table sitting next to him, he was at the cage or like went to the ATM or something. And he was like, hey man, I heard about that hand that just happened. And I'm like, oh shit. And then like, then the guy two, across the table from me, he like, yo, that's like the best, best play I've ever seen all night. And I've been here all night. And he's like a record, total recreational player, so I could tell just by talking to him. But he was a cool ass guy, though. I just know he doesn't play thousands of hours of poker like you know, like I have. So, um, but yeah, he was a super cool guy. He like, dude, like, he like, where'd you get that play from? I like, man, I was watching rounders today. <laughs> so, I was watching rounders earlier. So, I don't know. That was a fun table. Um, I'm kind of watching this audio. I want to get this video out. So, let me know what you think about that bluff. Um, Life is bluffed though, and those are the results for a session. And for 300, rebuy 200, out 635, profit 135. Any profit is good. Yeah, I went there after a uh, New Year's Eve party, uh, so 1 a.m., 9:42 a.m. I thought it was gonna be more cracking there, it wasn't, but um, anyway, let's get into these uh, results. 15k, th this is um, mostly over the pandemic. Uh, 172 hours or so, $88 an hour. I hope that's a sustainable. Um, that's kind of what why I'm starting this channel is to figure out if that is sustainable. Um, uh, a lot of this, a lot of that was a good run at 510. So I'm gonna filter that out real quick. Uh, let's go. Let me let me edit this. And yeah, 11 k and then yeah. <laughs> I don't think the hourly is sustainable. I mean, there was, there was a straddle, but it wasn't that big a damn straddle. But yeah, it had some good sessions there. Obviously, very small sample size. So uh, that's why that's the reason for this channel. Uh, partly, you know, like not every not every uh, session was profitable, but and there there were you know at the end there you saw. But I wasn't working at the time, so I I was I got laid off. I, you know the pandemic was a pandemic, so and I took it very poorly. Um, that that's a story for another day. Um, the story that you're hearing right now, is very much a redemption story. I am trying to right a lot of wrongs, um, fix a lot of demons that I've had. So um, I'm using poker to do that. I know that sounds crazy to a lot of people, but I've never studied anything other than poker, other than software engineering. And yes, I am a software degeneer now. This is my side hustle. I still have my job. I'm not quitting my job, but um, I don't know if, if I get on Max Payne Monday and I run it up to 100k, then I'll at least take the year off, <laughs> I guess. But hey, man, if y'all like the like the video, give it a like, give it a subscribe. Follow Hustler Casino Live if you like poker content. They got great stuff over there. Come out to the Hustler Meetup February 26th. I, I don't get anything from that other than if you punt to me, then thank you. You'll help my kids get some Robux. <laughs> so, anyway, that's, that's all I got for y'all right now. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to do something for the Super Bowl. I, I got some Super Bowl squares. If you want Super Bowl scares, I think I found the best 
Super Bowl square strategy out there. I have a website, so I'm gonna share that with y'all. I'm gonna make a video for that too. So if you want that video, or man, just leave a comment, leave a like, leave a subscribe. Other than that, yeah, I'll holla at y'all. This is DJ Twins. I'm signing out. I'm not gonna redo this audio again. This video is going out. Fuck it. So follow us on Twitter. Um, I think I've created Instagram too, but it should be at the D, D at the DJ Twins. Love y'all, love each other, be kind to one another, have a great day.